Hello and welcome my ninja nerds. How you doing today? It's Chris here and we're talking all about Sai. So Sai is a girl. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly by the way. Sai, 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 whatever. I'm going to just call her Sai. Uh, you can tell she is a girl if you look at her eyelashes. They're very eyelashy. More, they're actually almost as eyelashy as my eyelashes because I really have girly eyelashes by the way. Just in case you guys wanted to know. I do. I, I'm very girly man. With my eyelash, don't. I actually had... Quick story, man. Quick story. I'm sorry to interrupt this uh, this important video right here, but quick story. I had a girl my freshman year of my or my sophomore year of my English class. One of the first days, I saw this girl staring at me, and I was like, "Hi," like all awkward, you know, because I'm weird and awkward and everything. And she she's just like staring at me, and she's like, "Do you know you have really pretty eyelashes?" And I'm like, "Uh." Th thank you like what do you what do you say that I'm just like oh, thanks and she's like I'm so jealous of your eyelashes they're so long and pretty and I'm just like okay thank you it was really weird by the way it it, it was so Sai she is probably my favorite character um uh combine her Finn and Max you got everything freaking covered right then and there man she is delish uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys uh the the main upgrades that we use we're going to talk about the uh, weapon, the allies, and the trinkets sort of separately. The trinkets are going to be actually really important for Sai over here, and then your weapon's going to be just as important. The allies, shmeh, not quite as important in both situations, as usual though, as usual. So I kind of like the dark cloud sitting behind Sai over here. So the main thing you're probably going to want to get over here are the kind of like the left and the right path upgrades. Those are like the main things you want to get. Uh, so you're probably going to get longer range and seeking shurikens. You're going to never miss. Get the max pop and power out of Psy. Then you're going to get the sharp shurikens and sharp er shurikens and then the multi-throw. And that's just going to make her probably very, very powerful right from the get-go. It's a little pricey to get there. First of all, she has $800 right from the get-go, so that is pricey. And then, um, buying all these extra upgrades costs about two grand to get her up, but then she is awesome. Now, there's also some extra special upgrades over here, like the Marked for Death upgrade. Bloons hit by the Blob of Shadows take double damage for a short period of time. And, uh, I believe double damage does also play into how uh, much damage you're already doing to them with your other characters, not just like 1 to 2, but 6 to 12. Double damage can be a lot of extra damage up in here. Then the Tetsubishi upgrade throws some Caltrops onto the track, and that can be kind of helpful. I mean, I really don't love it for 600 bucks, but if you're going to max her out, why not do it, man? Then you need the, the Dagger of Chilled Glass over here for Frigitsu. Secrets of Frigitsu allow Sai to freeze balloons. What? Now, I, I haven't gotten this yet, but it sounds awesome. So, uh, check it out if you want to. It's, it seems like it's going to be very, very powerful over here. But I'm just... I just don't have it yet. I'm a little, a little sad about that. Uh, the Flash Bomb uh, uh, upgrade over here doesn't really help out all that much. Um, as an extra explosive attack that can stun the balloons. I found it to be sort of lackluster at best. Uh, you know, for 1500 bucks, eh, I usually stay away from it if possible. But if I'm going to max her out, if I've got the money for it, I just buy it just to have it. Then, you can go all the way up to Bloom Jitsu. Sai throws even more shurikens and attacks even faster. This requires level 7, though, so we're probably not going to get there for a long time. But we can get to level 5 pretty soon. It's another ability where all balloons are forced to move slower. We're kind of used to this. We're not too far away from that, though. We are level 4 already, and we already have some extra sushi rolls up in here. So, that's Sai. Basically, go on the left side, go on the right side, get those upgrades, and boom, you're going to be rocking the freaking balloons up in here. I should say, Sai does have automatic camera detection, and her biggest weakness is, of course, lead balloons. Right? We don't have lead balloon popping power from the get-go, but we do have a decent amount of lead popping power, and we do have a decent amount of regular balloon popping power. Um, when you're adding on your trinkets up in here, uh, well, let's talk about the, the weapon first. So, I got lucky. I was telling you guys in my Max video over here that I really, really, really enjoy the lightning bolt. It gives you extra damage. I love myself some damage. So it gives you extra one damage and then one extra damage per four stars. So I've got two extra damage for Sai right here. Gives me some extra range and then I also get a 10% chance to stun balloons for two seconds. So I'm stunning all the balloons, I'm killing them all, and I've got extra range over here. It's boss. The two other upgrades over here are going to be the same thing as the dart monkey up in here. We've got the blessed darts which give us eight extra pierce and or range, and we've also got the uh, the Dragon Fangs, which again is rock freaking solid. I wouldn't mind having two Dragon Fangs, to be honest. No special properties, but plus Pierce and plus 
four damage and extra damage for some for more stars. Oh my god, is it freaking ridiculous, dude? On top of having multiple shots getting thrown, like it it just it really helps you out over here, man. That's really where the power comes from, though, is because we get multiple shots, triple shots with our dart monkey, and up to. Uh, I think it's possibly up to five once we get up to the three stars over here. These just end up being very, very powerful. Um, the Silver Shortcuts over here, though, don't forget about these. These also have extra damage. So if you get an extra just rare card over here, this isn't too bad. And it helps pop regen and zombie balloons. So pick your poison, man. Whatever you want to do. Uh, you're going to have to share them with Max, though. That's the only sad thing. If you've only got one of them, you got to pick between Psy and Max. Who do you want to give it to? Allies. I'm just going to touch on these really freaking quick. Um, we've got the Grave Digger up in here. we got Star... Oh, Starchy. Won't take no nonsense from the balloons. He's got a candy shotgun. Okay. Um, of course, we're sharing a lot of these epics over here with uh, the Vampire King, Lady Rain of Corn, and the Cobra. Cobra's probably the most interesting one because he can give us extra cash and lives. Um, at a fairly low cost, only 400 bucks. Probably gonna have to upgrade him to actually get those going on over here. And of course, he gets almost no popping power, so that makes him kind of suck at least a little bit. Last thing, man, is the trinket. So the trinket, you can go almost anywhere with Psy. Uh, you can do anything. Um, the main thing that I would say is try and get lead popping power and ice, uh, frozen popping power. So I've got, believe it or not, the perfect weapon right here. The perfect trinket. I've got the Robo Monkey Visor, which gives me lead and frozen popping power for any ranged attack. Perfect. Does it range, though? That's kind of interesting. You have to use it on it. You can't use it on Finn or something like that, so we can pop all types of balloons. Now, you gotta use it on this bad boy. So, uh, uh, it ends up being very, very powerful for Psy. She can basically pop any type of balloon now. Uh, and, and that's, that's to me, that's that's really awesome. Um, what I also have on them, though, is I've got some extra damage to ceramics and bulk class balloons. Not, not amazing, but not too bad. I've also got an extra... Power ring of damage. You talk about more damage, Chris. So we're not just doing the plus two from the lightning bolt, we're doing plus more. Oh, oh, oh. So that's why she that's why she ends up being so gosh darn good over here. We also have the wizard nunchucks. I don't really know why I have them on there, but we stun balloons even more. Including mobs, though. That's the main thing. I stun the mobs because they have so many attacks to throw over here. I'm basically stunning the the mob class balloons for almost ever. I can stun Zoma oh Gods like instantaneously forever. They just they just sit there while I kill them. I've also got this epic up in here, which I found to be sort of lackluster overall. Uh, an ancient power that allows Psy to use the ultimate ninja ability, the Shadow Clone. Now, I've gotten uh, the ability to get two of these, which of course I didn't need, but I had the ability to get two of these guys, so it must be sort of a common epic to get. I think there's probably rarities on the, on the different cards and the different stuff. But anyways, uh, the problem with it is it pops it anywhere on the map. I think. It seems like it, at least. And even though it's a Shadow Clone, which means we can do double damage for a little while. Yeah, no, just not so much, man. Because you pop them pretty much anywhere on the map, you're unlikely to actually get the good popping power out of her. Sure, you can have them pop in the right spot, but a lot of times, it just gets thrown in the wrong spot. You know, a lot of times I want to use it, like on, on big balloons against a my God, or a, a bad balloon, or DDTs, or something like that. And this just doesn't do anything for me. A little bit sad. Of course, of course. Um, but, yeah, add pretty much anything you want onto Psy. I love damage. If you've got damage, pierce is okay, too. Um, but we already start off with a decent amount of pierce. So just adding a little bit of pierce, a little bit of damage is really where it's at. And then stunning the balloons is awesome. And just add whatever else you want on there to, to sort of help out. Just that little baby bit right there, man. And that's going to be Psy for us. So, uh, overall, Psy is a great character. She does have a couple weaknesses. The lead balloons, the frozen balloons, um, they're, they're not going to be very easy to pop, but automatic camo detection is pretty freaking sweet, man. Just make sure you're using the right trinkets on her, and she is going to be very helpful. I, it's weird for me to call her her, by the way, by the way. I don't even know why. It's just weird. Because I don't see the face. I just see the eyes, you know? Just, I just want to call him him. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just used to the ninjas being a guy. Maybe I'm sexist. I, I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.